Get ready to make a ring holder. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number one in our Beginner Pottery Wheel project series. Today we're going to learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a ring holder. And yes, at the end of the video, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. If you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscription button to get notified whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make a ring holder. The tools and supplies needed are also down below in the show notes, along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and are items I use on a daily basis, which you may already have. I'll be starting with the clay already centered. So if you have any problems centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay until the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using 11 ounces of Amico Amix number 11 clay. After your clay is centered, keep your anchor hand on the side and your other hand in the karate chop position. Then press the clay down to the size you want the base of your ring holder to be. Place your index finger at least a half an inch away from the center when opening so you have enough clay to cone up the center. Compress the bottom with the sponge to prevent the bottom from cracking. If you're unsure of how much clay is on the bottom of your ring holder, you want to stop the wheel and grab your needle tool to see how thick your piece is. Around a half an inch is good. Apply an even amount of pressure and don't squeeze your fingers together too hard. 
When you get to the top, don't forget to compress the rim. After setting your ring holder aside for 10 to 15 minutes, you can make a cool wavy design while the clay is still soft. Like this. Take the pointy end of your modeling tool and trim the extra clay off the base to make a nice foot. Once the ring holder is bone dry, I put it in my Scut KM818 kiln and bisque fire to cone 04. After bisque firing, wipe with a clean damp sponge to make sure dust and other particles are off your ring holder so the glaze can bond nicely onto your piece. I'm using Laguna Wax Resist. After the ring holder is dry from its sponge bath and waxing, it's time to glaze. Make sure you mix your glaze well before applying. I'm starting with Amico Deep Fire Brick and I apply it with an Artist Soft Fan Brush. You'll want a good amount of glaze on your brush and let the glaze float across the clay. If you're new to glazing, you may want to check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link in the description below. Carefully flip the ring holder over and glaze the inside. Make sure you have a good amount of glaze on your brush, but don't let it pool inside the holder. the glaze is dry, it's time to float another coat on.
Now it's time for Spectrum Pearl White Glaze. After all three coats are dry, top it off by brushing the pearl white on the rim and top. I'm using a larger Artist Soft fan brush for this. Try to get a good amount of glaze on so it can flow into the fire brick. Make sure it's totally dry and there's no glaze on the bottom before it goes into the kiln for the final firing. I'm firing at cone 5. Let's see how it turned out. Here's the finished ring holder. I like how the Spectrum Pearl White flowed nicely into the Amico Deep Fire Brick. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, or even ideas of future videos, please feel free to post those in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two and have more confidence in making your own ring holder. Click here and check out my centering video. Also, click here for any other pottery making videos. Keep making that beautiful pottery.